Hi everyone, Niall here and welcome back to the 8020 BIM channel. Today we're going to discuss how we should best present a plan view in Revit when we have a split level design or a mezzanine design. In the example in front of us we can see that we have the primary ground floor level set at the elevation of zero and on the right hand side we actually have a, a lower or a kind of a basement level and um, this could also be a mezzanine that's raised. And what we actually want to do is make sure that we have a consistent presentation across both of these. In AutoCAD, historically, this wouldn't be a problem. What you'd actually do is you just draw it all on the flat, on the plane, and you would put something like this little tag here just to denote difference in level, and you'd set and forget. The difficulty with Revit is the fact that you actually have to set a view range and cut planes universally across a view. And when you do that, you may not necessarily have items being cut by the cut range parameter within the view range dialog across the board. Um, sorry, so that's a little bit confusing the way I've actually described that, but if you imagine that you have a plane set at 1500 above your ground floor level on this side, your windows are not going to be on the same level on this side, and therefore you're not going to have the same presentation of the windows between the two. So as you can see in the example, we have our windows, which are 9, 10 tall, and they're sitting 1,200 from the ground floor level, okay? And we have the same set of windows, essentially, on the lower level, but it's set at a sill height of minus 300, which is 1,200 above the minus 1,500 designation on the lower level. So we're, all, we're keeping everything relative to the ground floor, just so we understand. So in this instance, if you have the view range cutting the windows here, there is no way that the same view range could illustrate the cut profile of these windows correctly. So what we need to do is use a tool called our plan region. It's very simple. So just to show you how historically we would change this in Revit across a whole file, we would go into our view range dialog here and we could change our cut plane to zero, for example, here. We could press apply and now you can see we have the presentation of the windows cutting in both instances. We can change that down maybe to, to a thousand. And you can see that we've lost our windows here. So in order to try illustrate the cut of the windows at both levels appropriately, we cannot use our universal view range dialog. So I'm just going to cancel and undo those two items. And we're going to use our view plan views plan region. Now, <laughs> apologies about that, I was a little bit slow finding it. Um, so what this does, is this opens kind of similar to a scope box, but it's only related to the plan that you are drawing it in, and it's a 2D item, it's not a 3D item like a scope box. And here you can see that it gives us standing, standard drafting tools here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to very simply draft a rectangle around our lower segment here. Now, Truth be told, I actually don't want to change the presentation of this door. So I'm going to only follow around the walls that I desire to show the appropriate cut profile for the windows on. Okay, so we have our L shape here and we're going to press OK. And very simply, what this does is this gives us an independent view range within the plan that we can now manipulate to present the windows in the same format as the higher level. So we can select our newly appointed plan region and we can go into our view range dialog, press edit, and we can change our cut plane to 1000, sorry, to zero. And we'll put our primary range set to 1000 there. And when we press apply, you can see now we have the correct presentation of the windows at the lower level and at the upper level but it's still all within the one plan view. So if there's any given number of applications you can understand this will be usable within. Um, you know, a domestic unit like this, you can expect to have a lot of split level designs and it's very, it's obviously very easy to control it in such a simplistic um, design. When you get to something like an industrial application, you often have a lot of variable mezzanines where you'd have certain equipment and certain heights that are required for vessels and, and temperature controls and volumes and that kind of thing. 
So you actually find yourself using these a lot more maybe in industrial applications than you would in something like this. In a structural application, similarly, you might have variable levels for your start points on your columns. And you'd want to see the foundations levels that vary throughout the building so that you can create a a, a um, base plate design uh, drawing where you can highlight each base plate variant, even though they're on different levels from one another, all within the one plan. So there's a number of applications for this. It's very simple to use. And as you can see, it presents correctly. And the great thing about it is this is only visible to the viewer in the actual Revit environment. When you go to print, this is a non-printable element. So thank you for watching this quick introduction to our view range, um, to our view range control within our plan regions. If you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe. There'll be more coming along. We're going to do a detailed video on controlling view range across a full view so that you can understand both in plan and in reflected plan how the view range dialogue works. Thank you for checking out the 8020 BIM channel. We'll see you again.